All right, I posted on Facebook earlier if you have any photos to submit them. And look at these. David submitted this. Snow angels in Oak Hill. Oh, boy. Linda posted this one. Oh, and look at this. Judy posted the, the bird feeder. Oh, look at the dog. Linda also posted this picture. Kim posted this. Her kids are out um, snow shoveling and also, obviously, sled riding. Um, we got uh, Sharon, she reported six inches of snow in Lenark, and then this is near Hinton at the New River, beautiful picture, and a couple of other pictures for you as we scroll down through here, Josephine, six inches of snow, this is uh, Mullins, West Virginia, snow covered, uh, we have Kevin and Quinwood with about six inches of snow, absolutely beautiful, and let's show you one more picture that we have on the weather computer, Christopher sent this picture, and this is from the Oak Hill area, and the roads are snow covered, so keep that in mind, dangerous travel going forward through the overnight period, especially when you factor in the temperatures are going to continue to drop, and the roads salt will not be as effective. Keep sending in the photos, fo folks, and we will have another montage a little bit later this evening. This is Route 19 at North Beckley. The snow is dotting the lens, so it's difficult to see the roads, but even though we have some wet spots, those wet spots are going to turn to ice as our temperatures drop. We'll fast forward to the wind chill. The temperatures right now are in the low 20s, but going forward, the wind chills will stay much colder than what they are now. It feels like nine in Oak Hill, 11 in Hinton, 10 degrees in Athens. We are anticipating the wind chill to drop to five degrees below zero when you wake up tomorrow morning. The Charleston radar had a little bit of an issue earlier. They have finally brought it back online. As you can see, we do have snow showers moving across the region. You'll get a brief burst of snow. It'll look like it's a blizzard for about 10 minutes. It'll briefly stop and then we'll get more snow. We are going to add another inch to our totals. Here's the low pressure moving away. But we have Arctic air that's banking up against the mountains, and that's generating these snow squalls. Here's our weekend cold blast, three above in Fargo, eight above in Kansas City. This is the final leg of our Arctic air mass coming through this weekend. Expect poor visibility with another inch of snow. Wind chills minus five tonight. Wind chills barely recover to zero degrees on Saturday. That's why we have wind chill advisories. Here's how cold it's going to feel tonight into Saturday. Five below along the Route 19 corridor, two below in the Greenbrier Valley, and up to 10 to 20 degrees below zero in the ridges near Raynell into western Pocahontas County. We are in the ice box through Saturday. But take a look at this, folks. In a super El Nino winter, we typically get that cold spell around the middle of the month, and then we typically get a big warming trend. If you look at about six analog years, that's exactly what's going to happen. Our pattern is going to take a total flip. We have the cold weather all the way through the weekend. You wake up Monday, gorgeous. A heavy frost on your car, that is if you don't take the snow off this weekend or if you do take the snow off this weekend. And then once we get into next week, we have a warm pattern. We are going to see about an inch of rain Wednesday into Thursday and mostly cloudy on Friday. When you add that inch to the current water content in the snowpack, which is about an inch and a half, that creates the recipe for the flooding potential. So here's your seven day forecast. 12 degrees on Saturday, Sunday's high, not much better at 17. But look at Monday, a 90% chance of a thick frost in the morning, but 42 degrees the high, 50 on Tuesday. There's the rain Wednesday and Thursday with an elevated risk for flooding. And then a warmer pattern continues on Friday with a high of 54 degrees. We've been talking about this all week, the total transformation of the weather pattern. All the variables are lining up for it. It's just unfortunate that we're getting the rain on top of what we have with the melting snow. Yes, but at least I think everyone is just a little bit more grateful for the fact that we're having above freezing temperatures, above yes. 32 degrees, just something warmer. It's still nice to have that.